Guys, uh, Greg Sweet here. You can't see me, but I just got to show you this. Here's a rack that we did uh, a couple years ago. And you can see we got to re completely repowder coat it again. It just goes everything that we talk about, how we no longer use powder coating for anything. But look at that. Look how the water just gets underneath it and completely starts rusting that. I don't know if you can see that, but it's totally rusted. This thing has to totally be stripped down and redone. And this guy absolutely takes the best care of his equipment out of anybody I've ever met. Um, and it, it's just impossible to keep. Check this out over here. Um, this whole side. And this is what happens when you have to repowder coat it. You've got to take off all the tins. This is all stainless steel on the front. But we've got to take off the tin. Here's a little nick. You know, just a little nick. No big deal. But what happens is uh, get the powder coating. Or the water gets underneath the powder coating. And pretty soon, look at that. It's rust, and there's actually pools of water there. And Bobby just uh, tore this off. Look at this. Just a pool of water in there. And the whole, oh, here, here's a good piece. Look, check this out. Totally peel that back, and that's what happens to your powder coating. It just completely comes off, guys. Whatever you do, don't buy powder coated anything. It uh, looks real beautiful at first. Six months after, though, it, uh, it starts looking bad. There's just nothing. Oh, here, look at this. Check this out. Unbelievable. Anyway, uh, we'll get these things done up. We'll take a picture of them when they're done again. But uh, they got to get completely stripped down, completely repowder coated. Uh, all the wheels will get taken off. And uh, it's, about a, it's about a two and a half week process. And uh, it just is a pain in the butt. Anyway, thanks guys. Talk to you soon.